United States and Mrs. Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the United States of America.
Mr. Prime Minister, this concludes the honor. He held for America and its ideals. He said he hoped that the future will unfold itself in ways which will make Pakistan and the United States comrades in the noble task of maintaining peace and in translating the leader of one of our country's closest partners and as the elected prime minister of a constitutional government. Your presence here today symbolizes the realization of Liaquat Ali transition toward democracy. And this progress is all the more remarkable because even in a volatile environment, it's being accomplished peacefully. Such perseverance, tolerance, luck, and plain hard work, but the results are worth it. Freedom unleashes the creative spirit of, and new industries have increased Pakistan's manufacturing capabilities. The United States as one of Pakistan's major trading partners applauds your government's efforts to foster enterprise and bolster expanding the boundaries of opportunity and improving the quality of life of your people. Through increased trade and business and through our six-year program of assistance, which is recently renewed, we are playing and will continue to play a positive role in helping you achieve your goals. Yekad Ali Khan described challenges the free people of his country and the world. Dark forces, he said, we're at work threatening to extinguish the torch of civilization which liberal institutions are trying to keep alive. In the months of 1986, there were more attacks on Pakistan's territory than in all of 1985. Yet through it all, the courageous people of Pakistan and their government have remained stalwart in their opposition to and by your actions, you have given new meaning to the historic traditions of Islamic hospitality. The United States is proud to be assisting you in this most humanitarian enterprise. Your outstanding economic achievements and the progress you've made in your trans Prime Minister, and I'm confident that we will both benefit greatly from the exchange. These talks give us an opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to stand together in the interest of peace, stability, and progress in Southern Asia and throughout the world. Mr. Prime Minister, we welcome you. I thank you, Mr. President, for the gracious words you have spoken I greatly appreciate also the warm reception that has been accorded to me and to my colleagues on our arrival. People of Pakistan fully reciprocate these sentiments. I bring to you their cordial greetings and best wishes. Islamic belief, even when we have faced difficult circumstances, our faith in democracy along with all the fundamental rights. I am sure all friends of Pakistan are gratified. I was particularly happy to receive your invitation. Mr. President, we have always inter entertained a profound respect for the United States, a great nation conceived in liberty, the land of Washington and Lincoln, Roosevelt, 
is to look and to learn. I hope also that I may be able to reach out and inform the American people of our hopes and aspirations has been invalu invaluable in our struggle to safeguard principles indispensable for the maintenance of freedom and independence in us. With a leader of your long experience, I am confident that our talks will serve to deepen mutual understanding and to further promote cooperation between our countries. I look forward also for your kind invitation. Thank you very much, sir.